Hey, this is Jaron from CFRE, www.cfreradio.com, and of course on air at 91.9 FM near the UTM campus. I'm Jaron Wade, and this is NXNE. I'm joined by some very special guests. Actually, for the third time in the last three months, I believe, I'm here with The Damn Truth. And can you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Leela. Tom. Hey, I'm Dave. David. Awesome. Well, as I said, this is the third time we've been talking to you in the past three months. First time was back in March, and I know Corey talked to you last month. So it's been a couple of weeks. How have you guys been lately? Awesome. Very good. Busy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am doing well as well. <laughs> yeah, everything's good. All righty. So I guess to start things off, I know I asked you this, David, a while ago, but maybe I can ask the other guys this. On December 25th, 2010, The Damn Truth tweeted, Our mics smell like skunk. I ask you guys now on April 14th, not April, June 14th, what do your sm mics smell like? Mine smells like Jameson. <laughs> Any other mic smells? No, I, don't, I don't sing. <laughs> it doesn't sing. All right. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Well, you guys are here for NXNE. So far, you've performed at the Horseshoe Tavern and at the supermarket. Tomorrow, you're doing the Sirius XM uh, radio party at the Rivoli. First, how's NXNE been treating you guys? How's the crowds been? How have been the people you've been meeting up with? And are you guys just looking forward to anything else for the rest of the week? It's always, it's always fun to play uh, Toronto. Doesn't matter which festival it is or what venue. We just love coming here. It's always a great time. And we love the vibe here. People really like the rock and roll here, and it's always good for us. We were told yesterday that North Bonnet Northeast is the best fest for free food and free booze. So we have we felt we found the free booze. We haven't found the free food. So free food. if anyone can let us know where that is, please do. All right, now you guys mentioned free food, and I was about to ask. So if you could get some sort of free food right now, what would you go for? <laughs> I'd go for a humongous. Like this big, pineapple. Okay. But it's got to come straight from Thailand. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't think that <laughs> you might get that <laughs> this weekend, but. But I can try. I can you want can it. Try. Okay. Alrighty. Now, you guys are scheduled. You, you've had some shows Wednesday, Thursday, and you guys have a show tomorrow. What do you guys have planned for tonight? Are you checking out anything, f any shows, any venues? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we are definitely going to hit the mod club. We're going to try to get in. Apparently, it's going to be sold out. I don't know. There's Imaginary Cities. There's our pals from July Talk, and we'd like to check that out. What else do we want to see? We're definitely going to go back to the horseshoe because just there's always good music at the horseshoe. So yeah. You can trust them. And we love the vibe there, too. It's always so much fun. It's like the real, for me, that's that's like the essence of Toronto live music. I love it. Right. How about you guys? Well, we have one car, so we're playing in the FDNC. <laughs> <thing, so. laughs> All right. How is the touring van doing? I know I asked you back, David, back in March, I believe, but how is it in June? We've tight, up, yeah, tight, we've, tight. We've, we've upgraded from uh, the, the the Ford Focus, like all four of five of us in like yeah, five and a Ford Focus, and now we've got the the Ford Jeep. What is it? And it's still Driving tight. Ford Escape. <laughs> Tom lost a few pounds. It's a bit more comfortable. It's a bit more. It's a bit roomier. It's like you know. Alrighty. Well, last night your horseshoe uh, set started at 1 a.m. And speaking about food again, show you guys do pretty much some late shows. I was wondering, what's your go-to post-late show snack or meal? And what did you guys go for after horseshoe this Wednesday? Street dog. Street dog. Street dog. Yeah. We don't have that in Montreal. Yeah. Meat, street food in the Montreal. I think it's going to be the first year they're starting it now. Finally, re like bringing back the the, the carts and stuff like that. You gotta love the street but, meat. Yeah, we you gotta love it. I love the veggie dogs. Right. Yeah, I saw a picture posted on Instagram. So <laughs> that's it. Right, that was last night. Yeah. Awesome. Well, speaking of, well, earlier this week you guys were hungry. Just talking <laughs> about it. Earlier this week, you guys released a two-song session EP on your Bandcamp. One was had an acoustic recording of. I believe it yeah. was yeah, kind of awkward, and another one of just a reflection. Yep. How has the how did that release come about, and how has fan reception been to it? Oh uh, well, first of all, it was it was uh, real sort of uh, put together last minute. We all got into his studio, and about an hour later, came out with those two songs, and uh, it, was, it was very spontaneous and yeah. uh, real. If you want. Yeah, it was awesome. It was really fun. Uh, 
really simple. Like we really, I mean, it just felt like we've been we've been doing this a lot also on tour. We've been playing them acoustically, so it wasn't hard to like you know just come, go right out and do it. And uh, so far, the, the response has been great. We've been getting a lot of like fan mail, like people really really digging it. A lot of people are sharing it, which is awesome always. And uh, so yeah, I can't can't complain about that. Kind of show a different side to the band as well at the same time. We usually electric on stage and being able to arrange the tunes acoustically and like take it down and express it in a different way is, is fun. It's definitely something that we love all of us, acoustic acoustic music and performances that are a little more, more heartfelt and you know quieter and uh, we just don't get don't get too many chances to play like that so it was fun to do that. Okay. It's like a full acoustic EP like more than two songs something in the future or is that something you want to put on the back burner for now and focus on other things? It's fun to do. That would definitely be a lot of fun to do. There's a lot of people that dig like that kind of thing and it's something we all enjoy doing so. Including us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we talked about it. We talked about doing this but you know we're gonna do it at some point you know. Yeah. We're not like direct goals for right now because we're really working on the next album but uh next electric album but I'm sure it'll come soon. Cool. Well, you guys just released the two songs, Sasha and EP. Speaking about sets of two, I was wondering, when I say there are two types of people in the world, what instantly comes to mind? Good and bad. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> two ty- wait, you said instantly, right? Yeah. Uh, two types of people in the matter. Yeah. Uh, rich and poor. Alrighty. <laughs> so from your Facebook page posted on February 17, 2010, it said, there are two types of people in the world, those who throw used coffee crystals down the drain and those who throw it in the garbage. Why throw it in the garbage? Why? Why? I, I ask you in June, have you guys figured out why people throw used coffee crystals down the garbage? Well, I don't, I don't throw them in the garbage. I put them down the drain. I've been told that the coffee crystals will help clean out uh, the, drain. That, the drain. That's an Italian thing, actually. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Italian thing. So. I never heard of it. I think I told him that. I think I was the one who told you that, and it's absolutely true. It will clear your drain, throw your coffee grains down the drain. Says the the Says the what? The girl who can't cook, yes, but still. (laughs) Believe me, you can throw the coffee. What do you uh, know about plumbing? Oh, plumbing. I don't know. Yeah. I know a lot. Good. That's my brother. I think that's some really helpful advice, actually. (laughs) All right. On September 21st, 2012, The Damn Truth tweeted, Last day of summer, listening to The Doors, summer. Summer's almost done. With summer just around the corner, and I guess spring coming up to the close, what's a perfect end of season, end of spring season song? End of spring season song. Guys, I think coming to your brain right now. I, I, I don't know, I've, I'm just really warm right now, and I want to hear a Beach Boys number, like, right now. Uh, I, wish, I also wish there was a, a pool party. Why is there no North by Northeast pool party? There should be. Really should be. Probably is nobody invited us. Okay. That's what happened. And please invite us next year. <laughs> or you guys can just walk around. Maybe you'll find something with the free food and the pineapples. <laughs> All righty. Lastly, wrapping up now, one more tweet. On April 18th, you guys tweeted, anybody own a ping pong table in Kingston? We have a tournament to finish. David two, Joss zero. <laughs> did you guys end up finding a ping pong table and how did the tournament end? Absolutely, we I, did it. It's not over yet. We're still looking for the table, know, but, but, but uh, we did. But wasn't it, it, it wasn't ended? It didn't end in Burnstown? It started oh. in Burnstown. Oh. Needed to be completed in Kingston. And then we were going to Kingston and you know, I wanted to like, we were doing like a three out of five. So I wanted to whip his ass and like for some reason, it's not happening. So. It was very close, though. It was very close. Yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, I want to thank you guys for your time. Is there anything else you want to add to everyone out there? Come on out and see rock and roll music. Everybody should. Not only ours, everybody's rock and roll music. <laughs> Go out and support music. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, guys. It's so bad. Stare down. Th- thanks for having us like three yeah. times in like a few months. It's, it's nice. Thank you for uh, the support. Really appreciate it. For sure. Well, until next time, I, I think we'll see each other again in a couple of months again. All right. I wish you the best of luck with NXNE and everything else in 2013. You made us, uh, you know, you made us aware of like, hey, you made me aware of like what I'm putting out there now. <laughs> I'm taking note of it. I'm thinking about it. Like, yeah, thank, we'll, thanks we'll, for we'll watch what we tweet from now on. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks All for right. everything. Thanks for having us. Thank you guys again.